principle that many of us might undervalue in respect to our health, specifically our musculoskeletal health, is the ability to interrupt. And interrupt is just another way of us saying adding variability. So for example, when we spend so much time sitting, I spend a lot more time sitting these days, instead of trying to erase it all at once, we interrupt it throughout the day. So I'm gonna share with you uh, an exercise that may be familiar to some of you, but with a little bit of a modification and how that impacts our thoracic spine, the curves in our upper back, and what that can potentially mean to any discomfort that we get from prolonged sitting to our from our shoulders, to our neck, to our mid-back, and even our lower back. So many of you are familiar with the sway back pose from my book, The Pain-Free Program, or sometimes we refer to it as the static extension. It's where we let the gravitational forces passively extend our spine to help the muscles relax and therefore let us get into that position without forcing it. So what you might be more familiar with is where we get on our hands and knees, our shoulders are over our wrist, and our hips are somewhere either over the knee or slightly forward, but then we let everything just drop and sag. We use a kind of the analogy of the old sway back horse, let everything drop, head drop, and go down. Now the modification to this I'm about to show you has a little bit more relevance to our mid back and specifically that thoracic curve in a way that we can help extend that using the gravitational forces but also just with a little bit of shift in our body weight so it's super helpful so we may get more benefit out of this or feel more comfortable doing it on our elbows and forearms which is one of our modifications so now i'm going to have my palms facing each other my shoulders are directly over my elbows and again my knees are hip width apart and, and, I'm, and i could be a little bit forward but what i'm going to do here is once i allow everything to sag and everything drops we're going to do a shift with our weight backwards so my elbows stay fixed on the ground but as i start to rock back what ends up happening is the curve in the lower back becomes less. So I flex that a little bit, but the thoracic spine, the upper back starts to create more space, specifically in those areas where the low back and the upper back tend to meet. There's this kind of acute change in the angle there and we get to create this extra space. Now what, for some people when they do it, you might even feel your vertebrae kind of do gentle adjustments, especially if you've been sitting flexed all day, but you can either go back and hold that or we can also use a gentle rock. So I have the option of holding or I can continue back and forth. Each time when I return to that starting position, I want to be sure that I'm aware that everything has dropped down and relaxed. So again, if you think about what positions that we're in that we tend to get super comfortable and locked into with our great supporting chairs at our desk and sitting in general, even in the car, it's going to emphasize flexion. Can we introduce, can we break up that cumulative stress, that ongoing consistency of a static position with some movement variability, particularly with something that does the opposite of what we're stuck in all day, does wonders for circulation, does wonders for unloading tr structures within the tissue, gets the vertebrae to kind of move a little bit better into finding those positions that they should be able to do functionally over time. And it really has dividends that pays off over time. So instead of spending, you know, six hours straight in a, in, in a sitting position and then trying to do something for an hour, a lot of times these little snacks or these little breaks that we can do periodically adds that variability keeps the body from accumulating stress over prolonged periods of time and really does pay those dividends in the long term. So I'm Anthony Carey, I'm the creator of the Pain-Free Program, founder of Function First, and also the inventor of Cortex and Cortex-Sit. Thank you for watching.